Hey guys, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a really cool, really neat, and useful terminal utility and application and prompt that you can type in a terminal, which will allow you to multi-manage your desktop a little bit more easily. Now, this video is brought to you by SquareTrade. Go to squaretrade.com slash TSIG to save $35 off your two-year iPhone warranty. So thank you so much for watching. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and we are going to talk about multi-management and fixing your workspace a little. Now, as you can see right now, I have several applications open and everything is really cluttered. So you can use different applications such as Spaces and Expose, for example, to kind of help manage this. But the fact of the matter is, is it still isn't that convenient and I don't find it in the long run to be beneficial. So what I'm going to show you to do, uh, so what I do to multi-manage, wow, show you to do, what I do to multi-manage and multitask is I use Command H. You can also find it in the file menu, and then you'll press, I don't even know, or it's the Chrome menu, or with the application menu, and then you're going to say hide. Same with Echo Phone, same with iTunes, same with email. Okay, so all those applications hide. Now the problem with this is what application was I working in before? What do I know what's closed? Now you can see the dots down there, but the fact of the matter is, is it's not that convenient. You can also use like Command Tab or other applications like that but it doesn't still help you narrow it down to what you were doing exactly before. So, um, what we're going to do now is we are going to execute a terminal command. I already have it entered. I'm just going to launch this and then I'll show you how to do it on your own in a minute. But what this does is let's say we open iTunes. Now watch the icon very carefully. If I press Command H, as in hide, that turns transparent. I can see through it. So now I immediately know what I was working on before and it is distinctive in uh, regards to the rest of the application. So I can kind of look at what is hidden and what is not a little bit more conveniently, especially when all the windows are open. I can say, oh, when you know these three applications are open, I can say, oh, iTunes is hidden. And then of course you can launch it the way you'd want to then. But that allows you to see what's hidden a little bit more easily. And that's what I really like. And I think Command H is really honestly the most efficient and quickest way to hide and get your applications out of the way without having to quit them and relaunch them later. So I'm going to show to you how to uh, enable this yourself. You're going to need to open Terminal. If you don't know where Terminal is, you can do a quick spotlight search, wow, spotlight search for it, or you can go to the Applications folder and it's under Utilities. So let's open Terminal. And now we are going to type the following prompt. Defaults space, write, space, com.apple, dot, capital D, O, C, K, space, show hidden, all one word, space, minus bool for boolean, and then in big capital letters, yes. Okay? Now, what's going to happen after this is you're going to then press return, and it's going to look like nothing happened, but the fact of the matter, it's already done, and that everything is already working. Now, you can ensure that it works without having to reboot your computer by typing the very nifty little command kill all all one word at space capital doc you'll notice that your doc gets killed for a minute it comes back and then you're able to multitask again and you're able to see oh well that's what I was doing before now you can disable this you type defaults just exactly as before write com dot apple dot doc show hidden minus bool no same thing, doesn't look like anything happened, but when you relaunch your dock, you will notice, oh dear, don't want to open iMovie, you'll notice that your applications are solid again. So I'm going to go back to the way it was before last time, defaults, write, com.apple.doc, show hidden, minus fool, yes, and then kill all can quit terminal and then you will know that your applications are working once again. So hopefully this can help you micromanage your workspace a little bit more easily. I know it helps me. It is a lot more efficient and convenient to see what is hidden and what is not and what is, you know, where and there. And so it is a little bit more easy to manage and just look at and say, oh, that's what I was doing before. So hopefully that'll help you out. Let me know if it helps you out. And uh, if you have any other cool terminal tricks, let us know in the comments or send me an email and I'll be sure to do a future video on it. Thanks so much. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And until next time, tomorrow, I have a cool review coming. Stay snazzy. See you later, folks.